Howdy everybody. Well there it is. The super scale injector is done and piped in. And um, I'll just take a minute and describe what I did. Um, I had previously made this bracket so one of the first things I did was go ahead and mark and, and drill and tap some 632 screws in the back there so it made a rigid mount for this tab. And then while this thing was held in place um, loosely, basically. I went ahead and made the piping for the, the steam supply for the top. I did it in two pieces. There's a 5 16 inch line, as you can see, and just a couple of 90 degree bends there, and the unions are silver soldered on there. And then another straight piece, an elbow, another elbow to go 90 degrees, and then there's a short piece that goes into this um, union here at the top where the quick start valve is. So that's all done. Should be satisfactory. This line right here is the inside of the cab, so that should fit and clear just fine. As I, as I demonstrated before, I'll be able to move the, the Johnson bar all the way forward and it doesn't interfere with that steam line. So that's good. Then the big swoopy line you see on the bottom here. I went ahead and made, I did this one first. And once I had that all silver soldered together, then I could tighten the things up and it suspended the injector in place. Then I went ahead and silver soldered this union here. This is a cone fitting here, so there's no solder involved. But then I tightened these two up and I had this in place. And I had gently bent this, uh, this the water supply line. I had it rough, roughed out, and it's not perfect, but I had it roughed out and um, a, a, a little loose uh, form of it but once the once the other lines were silver soldered and tightened in place then I was able to go ahead and finish this one mark it out for the final bends and uh, cut it off and silver solder the two ends for it so it has no unions and no connections and hopefully I've made the the lines uh, swoopy enough and and smooth enough for the water supply into the boiler so that's done, and I'll take a little break now, and pretty soon, hopefully this afternoon, I'll get together, and I'll, I just need to do the piping for the whistle. I wanted to go ahead, <coughs> excuse me, get the injector piped in first, because then that's that's the obviously the significant factor for running the locomotive. Then the injector, um, I'll come down here. I had drilled two holes in the running board. The injector piping will, uh, the, excuse me, the, the piping for the whistle will fit from here goes straight down and I'll probably make it pretty much the same way in, in two pieces. Have a piece that comes down here and like a bent L that goes up through this hole here and then um, another one that comes straight down probably put a union somewhere similar to the way this one is placed. Not, not in the same spot. Uh, offset a little bit for wrenching purposes. So that's today's update so far. I'll keep you posted. Now, once this is done, that's the uh, the major things that need to be done for a steam test. So, we are getting close. Thanks for everybody for all your support and help. I appreciate it. I'll keep you posted.